Apple <laughs> fell after yes. the report revealing that Apple's iPhone sales in China plunged 24% in the first six weeks of the year. Then there was Tesla. It was down because of weak China sales as well, shut down of a Berlin factory. Also, uh, there was suspicions of an arson attack in that factory. And then shares of AMD were down on reports that the Commerce Department did not clear a chip sale in China. All three, you know, China stories really unnerving investors on these three companies. They're all up this morning, by the way. Yeah, and what does speak to China competition, right? If you look at that Huawei phone, they magically have 5G capability now, um, even though they were restricted from all the technology to make their phone 5G, which says they steal a lot of technology. So now they have real competition in China. For, you know, Apple has real competition there. And if you look at Tesla, really interesting, right? They sold like 1.8 million electric vehicles last year. Phenomenal number. Well, China has a company called BYD. They sold the same amount of electric vehicles and you've probably never seen a BYD car because of tariffs. Thankfully, we don't have Chinese cars here, but it looks exactly like a Tesla. <laughs> so I think this is a real problem. The IP problem is, is rampant, and you have two of our largest U.S. companies with major competition from China, and clearly China stole a lot of this technology just to replicate what we've done. Thank, thank you for pointing that out. It's a really big deal. It's something that I point out a lot. Uh, decades of intellectual property theft from the CCP, and uh, this administration hasn't done anything about the intellectual property theft. This costs American companies yeah. hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars every year, 600 to 800 billion a year.